Welcome to this quick video tutorial on how to create the REST API with a POST method. We will be using links to create our API. In links, go to add plugins, then add the REST plugin. Once the REST plugin has been added, we're going to be using the simple REST host component that will allow us to create an API by using a wizard. Add in your base URI. I will be using localhost because I'm only going to do this for testing purposes. Now click on operations. An operation is essentially our endpoints, so we need to create one to create a client or to be our post method. The path I'm going to set to client and then for the method I'm going to select post. We need to create a request body. To do this I'm going to create a type and I'm going to call it client. Here you can add in any information that you need to pass into your API. This will be passed in as a JSON object. Go back to the operations configuration and select the request body to be the type that we just created. And now we're ready to add logic to our operation. Let's create a very simple operation that will simulate creating a client. I'm going to drag in the client type. Then I'm going to select the data from the incoming parameters or the request body parameters. And for a response, we will simply return a string that says that the client has been created. To do this, I'm going to use an expression. And in that expression, I'm going to access the parameters that we received in our request body. It's important to note that in this endpoint or operation, you can add in any logic that you want. Once you've added all your logic, you're ready to test your API. To do this, we're going to be using the Swagger UI documentation that is automatically generated by links when set up in the API documentation configuration. Now we're simply going to debug our simple REST host. Then the Swagger UI documentation will be available for us. We can now view what our API looks like how to use it, and what request body and response body can be expected. We can also test the API from here. To do this, we simply need to add in our test information and then click on execute. And if we scroll down, we'll see our message that has been sent when our client has been successfully created. We can also have an overview of what the data will look like on runtime. To do this, simply add a breakpoint into the operation, then execute the API again. Now, if we look at the debug values, we will see what the request body looks like. You can add in any logic that you want in this operation. For example, if you want to create this client inside a database, you can add an execute SQL component to interact with your database and to insert the data into your database. Lynx has many plugins available that will allow you to create your functionality with ease.